the masks which we've designed. It was one of the hardest things to do, actually. The Joker's men, they're kind of grungy, anarchic. There's a little theme of sort of piratical stripiness going on in there. And, of course, they culminate in the masks. His gang is pretty wide-ranging in looks. Some of them are in masks, some of them are in stocking masks, and some of them are clearly clown-like. They are really fantastic, the masks, and they're spooky without looking like a horror story, but there's something really creepy and nasty about them. Clowns have a certain, you know, history. There are certainly good and bad sides to clowns, and some people are scared of them as well. Our first idea about them was that they were possibly something that the Joker found um, some boxes with old masks in them, plain white masks, and that he'd customised them, or he and his gang had customised them as clowns, and then as the film goes along, they, they become a little nastier and nastier. The whole concept is not to be achieving a good makeup, it's to be achieving a good character. We are making characters that the audience believe in. And then you get the mask and you put the mask on, the actors, and then they do the character straight away. In whatever the character of the mask that they see themselves, they fall into it, and it's amazing.